So what exactly is radioactive decay? Now radioactive decay is one when you have a unstable nucleus, oh, it's all shaking everywhere, and then it's just going to become, spontaneously, it's going to become something more stable. But the important thing is that it has to emit one of the radioactive particles at least, right? And so that, of course, could be an alpha, it could be a beta, or it could be a gamma, right? And radioactive decay can keep happening until you reach something that is stable. But of course, eventually, that means you reach iron 56. But anyway, right, when we describe radioactive decay, we use two of these words, spontaneous and random. And we need to understand Okay, what these mean. Now, to be a spontaneous reaction, you have to be unaffected by both physical and chemical conditions. So what do we mean by this? So physical conditions mean things like temperature and pressure, typically. And so if you have a radioactive nucleus, uranium, for example, you know, if you placed it in the sun or you placed it in the moon or something like that, two very contrasting kinds of uh, physical environments, the radioactive decay process would be entirely the same. It will not be affected at all. And then similarly, chemical conditions don't matter. So if this uranium was on its own, or it was bonded with like, you know, oxygen or something like that, the uranium nucleus would still decay in the very same way. Now, what does it mean to be random? Well, if I have a sample of uranium, there will be, you know, many uranium nuclei in that sample. Okay. And the idea of randomness is, is that there is no way to predict which one of these nuclei will be the next to decay? And so if I watch this decay over time and then this one goes, right? And then that one goes, and then uh, maybe this one goes, basically there is no way to check or predict which one will go next because there is no pattern. It is completely random. And so radioactive decay is a process that is both spontaneous and random.